Hey guys, welcome back to another boss guide video. Today we are going over Scurious the Rat King. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, in terms of gear, your gear literally does not matter, pretty much, okay? You can pretty much have two options in terms of what type of gear you want. Either A, you can bring the absolute best gear that you have available to you at the time, or B, you can go for more of a prayer uh bonus type gear okay so what i would recommend is that if your stats it really just depends on your stats if you have a low prayer level um i would say anything below 70 i would recommend bringing mostly prayer related type gear um, to boost your prayer bonus as much as possible considering that scurious is a boss that's supposed to introduce the concept of switching prayers during combat okay it's mostly a prayer related type battle in which case having prayer related gear to reduce the drain rate of your prayer level will help a lot if you have uh not the highest prayer level once you do obtain a bone weapon though i highly recommend you use that bone weapon because the bone weapon and matches the dps value of some of the best items in the game um, it's really good in terms of my inventory though it's pretty much just entirely supplies that's it but without further ado let's go ahead and showcase uh the boss so scurious is pretty easy um i would start off using protect from melee okay now during this entire fight every once in a while he's gonna be dropping this rubble on the ground at you okay let me turn off my auto retaliate okay it's really easy to dodge. All you gotta do is when you see the little shadows on the ground, you just wanna step away from the shadows as well. So next time it happens, I'll show you. Oh, here it is, see? See these little shadows on the ground? You just gotta step away from it um, before it actually lands. So you see there's one right beneath me. I'm just gonna step out of the way. I avoided the damage. Pretty easy, all right. Now, this entire fight, Scurious has three basic attacks that he can use on you. He can do a melee attack, which is what he's using on me right now. He's like swiping his tail at me, okay? Um, at various times, the little rats on his back will shoot either a magic attack or a range attack. When they shoot those attacks, that's when you switch to protect from range and protect from magic. Pretty straightforward. That's basically the entire fight in a nutshell. So anyways, without further ado, we'll go ahead and get right into the kill. Just kind of showcase it to you real bit. I can pretty much be smacking this entire time. I'm gonna be praying melee most of this fight, but every once in a while we'll be swapping to range of magic. Now obviously, if you want better DPS on this, uh, go ahead and bring your best combat potion available. Okay, so now he's healing from eating the cheese. I'm gonna pray magic against this. That blue thing is magic. This green is range. It's important to note that you only need to actually hit the prayer right before it lands on you. It will only do damage once it lands. Now we're going back to melee. This is it. It's pretty simple. Whenever he's healing, healing from the food pile, he will only use magic and range. That's it. See the shadow? Get away from the shadow. Now, if you have a bone weapon, you can actually hit all these rats really quickly. That's a magic attack. Pray magic. That's range. Switch to range. Step away from the shadows. Pray melee again. Step away from the shadows. Summons the rats again. I'm gonna pray range here. Now this is going to be probably the most hardest part of the whole fight, where you have two options. You can either A, try to go finish off Scurious, okay? Or you can kill the rats first before attacking Scurious again. The rats will hit you with melee, so protecting melee will protect you. Um, they can sometimes hit through prayer though and deal one damage to you. So, during this case, if I wanted to kill Scurious right here, like we mentioned before, you just have to keep praying melee, 
and every time Skurius shoots a magic or ranged attack on you, you just have to pray the correct one right before it lands. And then you can swap right back to melee. See how I'm doing that? Pretty easy. Swap the range, go back to melee. Swap the range, go back to melee. Range, right before it hits, go back to melee. Pretty easy. Range, back to melee. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just kill these rats here real quick. All right, now that I've killed the rats, I don't have to worry about doing the constant swapping. Swap. Go back to hitting screens. Step away from the shadows. Great magic. Great range. Go back to melee. There we go. Pretty easy kill. Oh yeah, just to show you guys, in between kills, you can basically go to the food pile and you can fully heal up for free every 10 minutes. Pretty useful. You can only do it outside of combat though. All right, let's go ahead and go back to another kill just one more time and then that'll be it. This time it will be more of an uninterrupted kill. This time I'm actually gonna use Piety as well for extra damage. I didn't bring any super combat potions, so bringing those would have helped with my DPS a little bit. Okay, he's gonna use either range or magic during, while he's healing. There's magic. One thing to help you with your prayer switching is to have your mouse hovering over the prayer in advance, so that way you're ready to switch to it right away. Okay. There we go. I'm hovering over magic because he might use that next. Nope. Okay, so I don't press anything. There's the magic. Press magic. I'm hover hovering my mouse over the range now just in case. Yep. Makes it way easier to actually react to the brace switch. Whenever he's done healing, I, I go back to praying melee. Okay, range right before it hits. Range before it hits. Go back to hitting Sirius. Step away from the shadows. Play range before it hits. Go back to melee. Play magic. Go back to melee. Magic. Go back to melee. Magic, go back to melee. Magic before it lands, go back to melee. Range before it lands, go back to melee. Range. Magic before it lands, go back to melee. There we go, pretty easy boss. You can see I used almost no supplies during that entire fight. All right, without further ado, that was the Scurious boss. Go ahead and let me know what your thoughts and comments are in the comment section down below. If there is a piece of content in old school RuneScape that you would like to make have me make a guide for go ahead let me know in the comment section down below it makes it a lot easier for me to know what type of content to focus on next so by the way if you happen to be someone that's looking for friends to play with or maybe just a clan to join go ahead and consider joining my clan i just started one fairly recently you're more than welcome to add me and message me in game my in game username is pigster271 so if you're interested just shoot me a dm or maybe you're already in the clan but you would still like to find people to play with and play with myself for example um go ahead and join my discord server too we are always looking for people to play with whether it be raids group bossing etc skilling mini games we're always down for something so if you're interested go ahead and stop on by and say hello but other than that my name is brian and i will see you guys in the next runescape video Peace.